For 29 years, Violet Galagarza has directed young dancers inside and outside this East Harlem studio. That was good, but you gotta put more life. Violet's nonprofit dance group, Keep Rising to the Top, is a reminder for young people to not let their surroundings determine their destiny. It is so important we gotta focus on those that are in trouble, that are lost. She sees to it that these young dancers get exposed to traveling, performing, and learn about the business of dance by putting together an annual showcase. I'm grateful that I'm able to be at rehearsal and develop these things and we can present to perform and get these kids out from the hood. KR3T's alumnus, Frankie Gordles, moved to LA to launch his dancing career, but he couldn't stay away for long. In LA, around 2016, I started feeling homesick or missing like a sense of love. Since 2010, I've been in the industry and I've gotten to work with many artists such as uh, Rihanna, Beyonce, Fergie, Kendrick Lamar, Pharrell. Um, just to name a few. Now he's taking center stage as choreographer, chronicling current events through art. I like to take uncomfortable things and I'll be the one to like act it out or create a dance. So that way when people see it, it's not as um, taboo or like scary. <laughs> Let's go. One of the performances featured in KR3T's upcoming show centers around officer shootings. I wanted to showcase how we kind of get caught in between the fear and the protection. I want to change perception. I think that's what um, art is. The Me Too movement is also represented in this weekend's showcase with the debut piece from another alum. You Amanda Fernandez is a professional dancer. This female focus number is her first time as principal choreographer. My intention was more so unity and just women empowerment. And for her, working with these young dancers is a two-way street. I love seeing kids like dancing and training and giving it their all. KR3Ts will also pay tribute to Lisandro Junior Guzman, the powerful performance marking the fifth anniversary of his murder which is close to home for Violet and her dancers. It's sad that that had to happen, but in a way, a wake-up call to everyone and every race. From beginning to end, it's clear that this is not just a dance show. These young people have something to say, and they won't stop until they're seen and heard. Oh, yeah! So much talent in one room. So tickets are still available for this weekend. The shows begin at 8 o'clock on Friday and Saturday night and will include special guest performances. You can head over to Pix11.com for all of that information.